Hello everybody, I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I appreciate your checking me out. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I definitely appreciate your support. So, what goes on around here? Well, we talk about different topics and I encourage you to like, share, and comment your thoughts on the video. The only rule, be respectful of myself and fellow commenters and we will get along just swimmingly, okay? So, if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe, hit the little bell so that you will be notified when I upload new video content. So, without further ado, got the business out of the way, let's get into today's topic. So today we're talking about Mercury retrograde. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I would hear about Mercury retrograde and I'm like, what is it? And all I would ever get is, don't travel, don't sign anything, don't do anything, be very careful, it's the retrograde. Okay, but what is it? And they're like, it's Mercury retrograde. So for me, I used to like look up in the sky, like what's gonna happen, is something falling out of the sky? What the heck is Mercury retrograde? So if you're like me, perhaps not as dramatic where you're looking up at the sky expecting for some planetary thing to manifest. Uh, I'm going to explain to you, in the simplest terms, what Mercury retrograde is. I've also included in the description box the next calendar of Mercury retrogrades for the next upcoming years. So be sure to check that out in the description box. Just hit the little arrow, it drops down, and you can make a note of it. But I'm also, towards the end of the video, going to give you tips on things that you can do to lessen the blows from Mercury retrograde. Will it stop it? Of course not. But will I give you some tips on what to look out for and to have navigate the waters of Mer Mercury retrograde better? Absolutely. I mean, it's me. I got you. I always got some advice and some tips for you. So, without further ado, let's talk about Mercury retrograde. Okay, so what is Mercury retrograde? Well, when Mercury retrogrades, you have to think of it as an instant signal that the direction of things are going to change, okay? Now, something's in flux, you can't tell what it is, you don't see it, but you know that it's up ahead and it's coming, all right? So, did I tell you what Mercury retrograde was? No, <laughs> but I figured I would give you the same definition that was given to me. Now, let me paint you a picture about Mercury retrograde. Well, what they say to you is that Mercury is spinning backwards. Well, no, that's not true. Let's go to eighth grade science class, all right? Now, Mercury is closest to the sun, all right? And so, therefore, it, its orbits around the sun are much shorter than the Earth's, all right? You got that part? All right, so about three or four times a year, Mercury speeds past Earth, and that's when we experience retrograde. So here's the picture for you, spinning around. Well, Mercury is now a train, all right? Got the picture? Speeds past you. Well, you know the effects that you feel when a train goes past you, that wind, that's Mercury retrograde, the wind, all right? So it's not going backwards, none of those things. It's speeding past, but as an astrologer, if you're a stargazer, when you look up at it, it appears to be moving backwards. So that's kind of where that whole thing stuck, that misnomer, that Mercury's moving backwards. It's not moving backwards, it's just speeding so fast and from the naked eye, the reverberations from it, it makes it look as though it's going in slow motion. All right, so Mercury retrograde is the speeding pass of the planet and the effects, the wind effects from it, okay? Goes past really fast, all right? Hope I helped you with that part a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna clear this up for you. We're talking about it. Okay, what's retrograde? It's the speeding pass of plants. Well, Mercury, 
when it's in retrograde, what's happening, because it can typically spin very quickly, is that the planet is asleep. All right, so when Mercury is in retrograde, what's happening is that Mercury is actually asleep. So you know how you do a film. Now do the train and it speed past. Now imagine if you catch up to the speeding train. Now all of a sudden it looks like the, tr the train is moving backwards. No, you were just given the opportunity to catch up. And then something happens again and the speed pass happens. All right? So that was my visual about Mercury retrograde. Hope it helped. All right, so let's talk about it. Mercury retrograde. What are we going to do? What happens? Why do we care? What's the big deal? All right, well, Mercury, the planet itself, astrologically, it governs some major things, and those things affect our life here on Earth. Mercury rules all types of communication, including listening, speaking, learning, reading, editing, researching, negotiations, selling, and buying. So basically, anything you're doing with your mouth, <laughs> your hands, reading and writing, your eyes, any form of communication those things are ruled by planet Mercury, all right? It also rules formal contracts, important documents, wills, term papers, research projects, manuscripts, agreements, deeds, home mortgages, and leases for cars and homes. So again, all these things, communication-wise, come under the planet Mercury. Now included under Mercury's domain are also computer codes, so coding, transportation, transportation, shipping, and any form of travel. So Mercury retrogrades and these planets and these areas are known to seriously spin out of control, break down, have delays, etc. And that is why you get the warning, the foreboding warning of, it's retrograde, don't do anything. <laughs> That's why, because it affects all forms of mass communication and travel, all right? So now Mercury retrograde period is not a good time to do anything involving communications that is important well you can't not speak to people you can't not talk you can't conduct business right of course not that's not realistic so what the warning is is that when it is in retrograde and again check the calendar so I can you can be apprised and abreast of what to do and when that's happening what you need to do is you need to be very cautious and you need to check and recheck retrograde is the re time re view everything that you're going to do. Rethink everything that you're going to say. You know, revise what you were going to put out. Make sure that you look at everything and you look at it at least twice because of the effect of Mercury being asleep, okay? Now, these phases are also considered a poor time to launch new projects, new ideas, because people's judgments are off. Thinking is slower. Uh, people being able to make decisions during retrograde. It's known that people just, it's clouded thinking, clouded judgment. Uh, people may decide that something that they like, they, they no longer like, or they don't like it during retrograde, but once the retrograde period ends and the fuzziness ends, then people like it. So that's why they say, you know, if you can wait and make sure that it's not retrograde period, it's fine. It's a perfect example. Um, President George Bush, uh, W, he was elected during retrograde. Well, for my historians out there and for those of you that have Google, you can look it up that it took weeks after the retrograde period to determine him as 
the winner. So that lets you know uh, one of the most famous effects of something happening during a retrograde period and the effect of mercury on that situation. So uh, something else. Let's just keep in mind. Uh, something else that you know no one ever really mentions or cautions people about is that you should also avoid elective surgeries. Now, of course, if you have to have surgery to save your life during retrograde period, save your own life. Just saying. Put that out there. However, if you have a nose job scheduled, you don't want to necessarily have that surgery during retrograde especially during a Venus retrograde. People don't talk about that, but Venus is, of course, the planet of beauty. So you wanna make sure that you check astrologically what's going on in the planets because, again, your surgeon is governed by the same rules and the same effects of Mercury that you are. So accidents are no more prone to happen during retrograde periods during surgical times and you can look that fact up as well so if you don't have to have the surgery wait the three weeks go through the retrograde period and then have it especially if it's something that you can put off all right and also like i said but if you need the surgery to save your life and it's scheduled have the doggone surgery just Alrighty, so <laughs> moving on. You wanna be extra careful when you're sending documents through fax and email also during the retrograde period. Why? Because retrogrades are notorious. Again, Mercury rules over all of that stuff. So if you send the fax, you wanna make sure that you call the recipient and make sure that they receive the fax. You wanna make sure that they receive every page that's in the fax. Also, emails. Emails notoriously don't go, can't send, uh, wasn't delivered. You hit send, you thought it was gone, you come back two hours later because you haven't received a response and the person tells you they never got it, you can't find it, it can't be sent. So you have to resend, you have to check electronic things, especially make sure it's sent. Text is all of a sudden your phone just can't send a simple text message. Happens all the time especially during retrograde period. So you definitely want to be careful with that. You would definitely want to do follow up, follow through during retrograde periods, anything regarding faxing, texting, copying, that type of thing. Also, you want to make sure that you get uh, tracking on different things that you send to other people. Because again, those delays, it's not delivered. They will cancel your order. It's out of stock. All that, all the kind of stuff, frequent occurrences during retrograde periods. So you want to make sure that if there is something that you really, really need, you either want to get it before retrograde or you want to wait until all this craziness is over. Now, miscommunications through emails, also, and text messages are very common during the retrograde period. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure, as I said earlier, that you may have a client if you're at work and they liked something and then all of a sudden they don't. You thought that you were pretty clear on what it was that they wanted, you sent something, all of a sudden they're not happy with it. Don't panic, reiterate to them. Remember, re is our course. So you want to reiterate what it is you think that you're hearing from the person that you're working with. Get clarification on it. Take the extra time to be clear. If you get a text message from someone and you think that they're saying one thing and you're perhaps having an adverse reaction to what's being said, reread it. Ask them to restate it so that you're clear on what's being said, all right? Miscommunications are one of the most number one things that happen during a Mercury retrograde. So please take the extra time to get clarification. Re-listen to what's to ask people to repeat it. Again, that redo, rehear, rethink. 
okay? So super important during retrograde. Now, moving on, some more great and juicy facts. Now, during the Mercury retrograde, we also see the crashing of, there's more traffic accidents, but you also see the crashing of computers, the breakdown of home appliances, your car will need batteries, the AC won't work, the water heater went out. These things are also affected by Mercury retrograde. Now, what can you do to stop that? I have no idea. <laughs> Make sure that things are serviced in your home properly and things and you keep your car uh, repaired but do not be surprised that your battery is all of a sudden dead or the AC went out or the radio is not working or the starter is gone on the car famous for happening during retrograde periods okay now it's also advised that you don't make any expensive purchases during the retrograde period. Why? Well, they found, researchers have found that people that make purchases during uh, retrograde, especially expensive ones, what you find is that 30 days later after your purchase, it's on sale radically. Or you purchase it, then retrograde period's over, including the shadow period, and now you have buyer's remorse. So they tell people to really think long and hard before putting money down on something expensive during retrograde period, because again, it affects your thinking. It, it affects your understanding of things. So signing the contract, you will think that you're getting one thing, but after retrograde, when you reread it and you get some clarification on it, you find out that what you got isn't really what you thought you were paying for. So you wanna be careful with that. Now they also tell you don't travel. Don't go anywhere, oh my goodness, they warn you about traveling because as I said, cars break down, flat tires, all these things happen during retrograde period. Accidents, uh, the amount of accidents go up. Tickets are handed out more. Uh, during the retrograde period. So, however, there is a travel that is okay during retrograde, believe it or not, and they don't tell you this. If you're traveling to revisit some place that you've always been, or you're going to work with a client that's established, and this was a past client, those things are good during uh, retrograde. Going back behind you, you know, planet moving backwards, that's where that all ties in. Going back to visit things that you once had a dealing or connection with is a good thing during retrograde because it is a time of reflection, okay? So you can resubmit a bid and perhaps during retrograde, the people will now take the bid because you've gone back to revisit it. So some, they don't tell you that, but I thought that that was a very good point for people to know. So if this is an old client, this is somebody that you left, if this is a job that you left and your old boss calls you, you've already had a working relationship with that person and they're offering you a better position because they now get to rethink your importance to the position, that is something that you should reconsider and perhaps take it. Not telling you to take it, just telling you to reconsider because during retrograde, that's a good time. Might be something you wanna do. Also, vacationing during the Mercury retrograde is not a necessarily a bad idea, especially if, again, you're revisiting your favorite place. You're going home, childhood, old friends, uh, old, places that you've loved in the past. Those things should transition and run very smoothly during retrograde period because Mercury actually embraces and encourages us to go backwards during retrograde periods, okay? Now, another big thing that happens to people during retrograde, again, because it involves the thinking, the mind, listening, comprehension, learning, is forgetfulness. Forgetfulness is an all-time high during retrograde periods. And it's a problem phase, but this is during retrograde, you may find that you lost your cell phone, you keep misplacing your keys, you 
can't, you locked your keys in the car, things like that. You lose your gloves, you leave them behind in the, in the Uber, you just don't know where you left these things. Those are very, very common things that happen during the retrograde period. It's just a forgetfulness and you will say, I don't know how I left them behind. Chalk it up to the retrograde. All right, so Mercury retrograde is also notorious for creating confusion and havoc in romances. That's right, getting to the good stuff now. Yes, petty arguments can become a huge deal during, for couples during retrograde period. You will find that perhaps yourself or your partner manufactures problems things that used to be small become very very big and they have a, a a rippling effect during retrograde period so something that used to be small between the two of you during retrograde will also will suddenly become volcanic and erupt uh, breakups are very very common during mercury retrograde uh, somebody will just decide they've had it they don't want to be bothered with you and that's it during retrograde period now don't be surprised that after the retrograde period is over the two of you get back together so you want to make sure that you think about the things that you say during your mercury retrograde breakup from your spouse because you may have to eat those words when they come back all right so <laughs> This is what I put it out there, but what can you do? Well, as I said, rethink, ask people to repeat what was said, get clarification, try not to jump to conclusions during the retrograde period. You want to really pack, practice patience with yourself and with others during retrograde. It's only a three week period, so calm down. Don't jump to conclusions, just batten down the hatches, remain firm and steady, just stay solid, and you got it, okay? So let's, let's try to lessen those numbers. Let's try to lessen the breakups during retrograde numbers if we can. All right, so then you wanna keep in mind that Mercury retrograde happens in three different astrological signs during the year, okay? And if it retrogrades in your sign, that's why you wanna check the calendar, you may be more so affected than people around you. For instance, if it's retrograding in Libra, Librans may feel the effects of retrograde in their day-to-day -day life more so than a Taurian, unless a Taurian has a lot of Libra in their chart. So that's why charts are really important and it's important to get your birth chart and to understand exactly what's there, okay? now. Are there any exceptions to the Mercury retrograde rule? Well, of course they are. You know, your girl looked for them. I gotcha. There are situations, as I said, you can move forward gingerly during the retrograde period. You just want to make sure that you review everything that you're dealing with when you're in the retrograde period, all right? As I said, one of the number one things that the retrograde period is, is famous for and that you should use the time wisely is to revisit the past. Revisit those things where you're going to correct an error. You can do that. Or you can get together for someone from the past, from someone that you know and admire, all right? These periods allow us to reassess, revisit, readdress, redo, and redesign our plans for our life. That's what Mercury does. We're supposed to slow down, stop, look, and listen, and use it to redirect our past. Go back to the past clients. Go back to the past uh, relationships that perhaps didn't end so well and readdress it and make it right if possible that happens during retrograde. If it's is it possible that a past love comes back into your life during retrograde period? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mercury retrograde is notorious for past lovers to give you that old ring up or that old what you doing, how you doing text during retrograde periods. All right. Blast from the past. It's quite 
comment. So, what I say, proceed with caution. Go about things gingerly. Will it last during a retrograde period when a lover from the past comes back? Well, uh, that's up to you, okay? That's up to you about whether or not you're even going to allow that person back in, okay? So you need to rethink, you need to really review and proceed with caution. If you even wanna open that door up, obviously, if it ended in a very bad uh, way and you guys are toxic for each other, no. <laughs> I don't care what retrograde is happening, no. <laughs> However, if it's something that you need closure to and this is an opportunity to get closure, then, you know, use your own judgment on that. Uh, again, just proceed with caution, okay? As I said, Mercury retrograde is a three week period to redo, all right? Just know that after three weeks, it's business as usual, so, uh, Enjoy it while it lasts because sometimes Mercury retrograde, retrograde hookups are just hookups. All right. So an important thing to note about Mercury retrograde is that its effects, its strongest effects are usually felt on the first day of its inception and the last day when it is leaving us. So that's when you get that rush of wind and those the chaos can happen the very first and the very last days. Does it happen in between a three week period? Of course, if it didn't, I wouldn't be making this video. <laughs> but those days are the ones that you really wanna bat down your hat, you really wanna redo, rethink, uh, go slow, just check and recheck everything for yourself on those days. So finally, ha, huh, how do we manage it? Well, I told you and I've been uh, hinting at, it's really important for you to know when the metrograde the mercury retrograde is and what element it's in okay the key to the solution of any mercury retrograde lies in the element okay so for example if mercury is retrograding in fire signs that's aries leo sagittarius then the problems that you were having the mass communication problems the rethinking the judgment you're faced with those things apply that element line of thinking to it okay so if it's in a if it's retrograding in fire then you want to apply a new visionary and innovative solution to whatever the retrograde problem is try something different if you and your spouse are having a problem that's the same old problem and it rears its ugly head in retrograde then don't apply the same thing that you've been doing to it try something new if mercury okay so you got that so fire signs new innovative thinking a new idea something fresh because that's what fire signs are known for if it retrogrades in an earth sign and you have a problem you want to approach the problem from a practical point of view our earth signs are sturdy they're solid so they're not going to think something wild and crazy earth signs are going to do what is proven to work so during a earth sign retrograde again Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if you are retrograding in that period of time, think solid, think practical, think uh, you want to be, think about things in a very frugal, very firm manner because that is who our earth signs are. You want a solid solution to those problems. If Mercury retrogrades during air signs, that's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Aquarius. Well, Mercury is their ruling sign. So it's going to take lots of discussions to rectify whatever is happening during a retrograde period problem. Okay. So you need to take polls. You need to find out what other people are thinking. It needs to be a collective, but you have to make sure that you are making an objective, a thinking solution and not an emotional one when handling retrograde problems during an air sign period. And finally, if Mer Mercury retrogrades in a water sign, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you want to use your intuition, all right? Yes, do your research. 
find out everything there is to know about that problem but then if your gut is telling you to do something different during that mercury retrograde and it's in a water sign then you should follow your gut that's right follow your gut acknowledge the research but follow your gut if it's retrograding during a water sign period okay so when mercury retrogrades in any of these signs there are ways in which to handle and conduct things as i said check the chart find out where it is and then apply those rules and you'll find that your solutions are a lot more amicable and things don't have to be in such flux and such chaos or havoc as a result of a mercury retrograde situation ask a lot of questions review everything don't panic and just hold on all right it's just a three week period during retrograde you can hang in there and just remember retrogrades don't last forever all righty so that's it i'm sanji don't forget check the description box to check out that uh calendar that i provided for you for the next few years of when retrograde is and it has on there what period what sign it's in and remember fire water earth air those things will help you navigate your way through retrograde mishaps okay if you have a retrograde story and you want to tell us about it some things that have happened to you recently or in the past or to some others and you want to share your retrograde horror stories or retrograde successes please leave them in the comment box. I'd love to read what happened to you during the retrograde period. That's it. If you haven't done so already, please hit like, share, and absolutely subscribe. Until the next time, take care of yourself. Watch yourself in those retrogrades. Don't worry, I got you. Watch the video again, I'll tell you what to do. And I'll see you next time right here. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.